Welcome to an enchanting journey to the Rock of Gibraltar, where nature showcases some unique phenomena. But before we dive into this world of meteorological marvels, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because you don't want to miss out. Surely you don't want to miss out on any of these fascinating adventures. So let's talk about the Rock of Gibraltar. This place isn't just a paradise for stunning flora and fauna. It's also a home to some truly extraordinary and we mean the elusive Levanta cloud. It's a cloud that seems to appear out of thin air, like it's straight out of a magician's head. But sorry, no magic tricks here. Just a dash of meteorology mixed with Gibraltar's unique landscape. You see, it's all about the leave and wind blowing westward across the terrain. It's like Mother Nature's gentle fan creating this cloud phenomenon. So here is the science behind the magic. Moist air is pushed upwards by the sudden rise in the landscape. It's like an elevator ride for air. As it goes up, the temperature drops down and voila! The air gets all cozy with itself and moisture condenses into a cloud. It's like the air is saying, let's hang out together here. Now imagine you're a passenger jet or helicopter trying to land at Gibraltar's International Airport. You are in for a treat, friend. Even on cloud days, these Levanta clouds surely know how to put in a show. Some friends around there even claim they've seen shapes of animals in these quirky clouds. Well, it's not every day you spot a cloud that's picky about its wind, right? According to the UK's Royal Meteorological Society, they say that these Levant's winds can blow through any time but the most common around June to October. Now, the Levanta cloud is a bit of a celebrity among clouds, but it's part of a larger family that is called the orographic clouds. Think of them as the cadations of the cloud world. Within this family, there are some interesting cousins too, like your Barna clouds and your lenticular clouds. Talking about lenticular clouds, oh no, they are like the flying saucers in the sky. These rare clouds can be seen near or on top of the mountains. And when they are on top, we call them the Cape Clouds. It's like Mother Nature's vision of a UFO sighting. Now here's the secret recipe. So moist air climbs the mountain, it gets chilly on top and turns into a cloud. But the twist? When it descends on the other side, it dries out, leaving us with these saucer-shaped beauties. Imagine the mountain as a cloud-making factory. Now let's talk about the orographic lift. It's like a fitness routine for air. On the wind side of the big mountains, there's a lot of rain and snow, keeping things lush. But on the leeward side, it's like the air's lost its mojo, leaving us with these high and dry places like your California's Death Valley and Chile's Atacama Desert. It's so beautiful to see you guys. So you can see friends, the rock of Gibraltar isn't just a rock, it's a stage for nature's drama. If you enjoyed this journey through the clouds and landscapes, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and stay tuned for more amazing stories from around the world. Until next time, keep your head in the clouds and your feet on the ground.